What's up, Quarter Pounders? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Wave Potter, and today I'm reacting to Yoko's Good Times, Bad Times cover, Drums Only, because I got such good feedback on my last Drums Only reaction, and it's just really enjoyable as a drummer to listen to a pure drum track with no other instruments drowning out the tone of the drums and you just notice a lot of things you don't notice when there's other instruments. Also, I did a live reaction to this while playing the guitar, but again, I wasn't able to look at it closely and really see what she's doing. So this is going to be a much more in-depth reaction to Yayoka's drums only good times bad times cover that she just uploaded a week ago. So if you enjoy this video please pound that like button and subscribe turn on notifications. Uh, I call it my buddy bell. Ring that buddy bell because if you don't a subscription doesn't really do anything and pound that like button because the YouTube algorithm demands it. With all that said let's jump into this cover. Such a smooth fill. Wow. That's such a clean triplet. I don't remember her fills from the last two versions being that clean. I mentioned in my last video about my own progress working on these triplets that you want it to be a clean triplet. Well, at least that's the way this is notated is as triplets. So it's instead of you just want it to be clean triplets. Of course, there's debate about what John Bonham was actually playing because you know what? He didn't care about notation or metronomes. He was just feeling the song. As someone who's attempting to play the headless kick triplets or headless bass drum triplets, these are absolutely perfectly smooth and yet still so soulful. It's an amazing thing when a drummer can be both snapped into the grid, playing in the pocket, and sound soulful. That's like, that is the goal as a drummer. Smooth, such a smooth transition into that fill. Yes. I gotta point out too, that crossover there, she's doing that double stroke with the left hand, but it's on two, oh crap. Hope that wasn't too loud. It's on two different drums. It goes from the high tom to the low tom. That's a big jump between drums in the middle of a double stroke. It's doo -doo. It might not look that hard just watching it, but to actually play that double stroke with your non-dominant hand and jump from one drum to another drum that's on the other side of the kit from where that hand is, maybe I just suck. But for me, that's really hard. So very impressive for her to jump right into those. They sound so smooth. You can't even tell that she's jumping across toms with the same hand. So much attention to detail, like that she can get those little nuances that John Bonham put in during the guitar solo. Because when you listen to the song, your attention doesn't isn't naturally drawn to the drums during that part. So it could be very easy to forget those little nuances, like that little Tom Tom double stroke that John Bonham put in there during the solo. But of course, she has all those little details. Like this is such a perfect playthrough. John Bond would be very proud of this. Also, thank you so much to all the support and kindness you guys showed on 
the cover I recently did where I played along with Yoyoka on this. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a card to link to it, but I was blown away by the audience reaction to that. Really appreciate that. So clean. I'm curious to see how her kick technique changes as she grows. Because obviously right now her drum throne is at a very normal height like the snare is right where it should be but her feet are still pretty high in relation to the kick drum so i wonder if she'll adjust her kit as she grows or if she'll kind of grow into it because a lot of people have pointed out how she has this leverage on her kick drum as you can see my wife just texted me she's also looking forward to seeing the progress um but what i'm saying is People have pointed out how she has that leverage over the kick drum, and that might help with her double strokes. And uh, the only way I'd be able to get that leverage is if I put my drum throne up higher, which the one I have now won't adjust any higher. But uh, I am curious to see if it changes the difficulty level if I were to be sitting higher up. But just a little speculation there. I'm excited to see where she goes in the future. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> Love the stick wave. Classic Yoyoka. I don't know how that could possibly get any better. It's just absolutely perfect at this point. And, ah, excuse me, gotta hydrate. And just catching all those little nuances that John Bottom had. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but it's nowhere near as easy as it used to be for me to learn songs and remember all those little nuances and details that are in the songs. So I'm blown away and very impressed when people are able to remember <laughs> all that stuff. And so seeing this performance is just like, how? How do you remember all this? It's very impressive and definitely go to Yayoka's video and show your support because I don't want this to be a replacement for just watching her video. Just go show your support. Let her know why you appreciate it. I'm sure she very much values feedback. Again, if you haven't seen my jam with her, because when she uploaded this uh, session with Yayoka, she said, let's session. So that's exactly what I did. Um, even though the one thing I'm actually kind of good at is what she's playing. I tried to do my own cover with her. And it was a lot of fun. And I got a lot of good feedback on it. And again, thank you all so much. That means a lot. If you didn't catch my video yesterday, I was explaining my Frankenstein guitar. A lot of you have been asking what is going on with that thing. So that will explain that situation. And of course, you can also see that guitar in the cover I was just talking about. So hopefully I can just direct people to that video now when they ask me what the heck is going on with my guitar and it'll answer all their questions. If you have any suggestions for me or requests, please leave them in the comments. But if you really, really want me to get on your video right away, you can join my Patreon below. It's just $5 a month and you can tell me what to do and your requests will go straight to the top of my list and I will get them done ASAP. Like, they'll be the first video I'm working on. So besides that, again, subscribe. 
ring that buddy bell so we can hang out more often because if you're here you are probably interested in the videos i'm making so why not subscribe show your support show youtube that people are actually interested in these videos because then they'll recommend them to more people that's a wrap i will talk to you next time i got a lot to do to become the man i gotta be to deserve you and to balance the staccato me i don't wanna